Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. We got a cool topic for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our subject for today? Our subject for today is how to be selling script prepared. What do you say? I said how to be script prepared. Selling prepared. Now, you're probably going, what in the world does that mean? Listen, I've been in sales a long time, and I've seen some situations where people wing it when they're out there trying to sell stuff. They may get a little bit of understanding of what their product is, but if you're in the world of sales, you really need to be prepared. The reason being is because people will put up all kinds of barriers to keep you from selling or helping them buy stuff. And so you have to have a script that's going to give you the capabilities to be able to have a simple conversation, but also to be over, to be able to overcome objections. So our topic for today, again, is how to be selling script prepared. Now, say, for instance, if you are a person and you are a person who uses, you know, there's different ways to sell as far as scripts are concerned. You've got different types that people need to use scripts, like, say, for instance, over the phone. Now, if you're selling over the phone, you're going to definitely need a script. You're going to need something that's going to be available to you that you can actually, you know, put up on the wall so that way you can actually see it. Because, see, what happens is, you know, I've worked in call centers and i worked in sales centers before. And sometimes you'll get different types of personalities. And what will happen is, is they'll say something to you in the middle of your short little presentation that will throw you off your game. But by having a script, what it does, if it's right there in front of you, you're reading from the script, not like verbatim, but you're getting pretty much the whole gist of it because you've been preparing, you've been working on it. It gives you the capability to get back on track. Now, for me, I stick with the, the type of uh, scripts that I use especially when I'm over the phone. A lot of reason being is because uh, it, it gives me the, the beginning, the middle, and the close, basically. And what it'll do also by having it there for you, you can if somebody says some things to you, you, you and it gets you off track, you can kind of revert back to getting back on track. Because customers, they ask questions and stuff like that. Sometimes they'll say, I'm not interested. So you have to have a, a, a comeback for how to be prepared to talk with customers with that type of script. Now, if you are a salesperson, scripts are vitally, vitally important. The reason being is because, see, when you use a script, it gives you the capability to take control of the sale. It also gives you the capability to remember things that you may have got because you were like, oh, crap, what happened? I forgot where I was at in the middle of my presentation. So by carrying a script with you and, you know, you can look at it periodically, you know, as though you're actually writing something down for the customer or something. But if you can get back on track because you are prepared Remember, I carry a script with me based on all the stuff that I'm going to be talking about. And sometimes I forget the most important things. And by having a script, it gives me the capability to go back and then say, oh, okay, Gary, you missed something, so let's get back here where we need to be. You know, scripts have been around for a long, long time, especially in the selling market. But see, if you are a salesperson, if you're knocking on doors, you need a script. If you're going business to business, you need a script. If you're selling uh, over the phone, you definitely need to have a script. If you are just in the world of sales, selling retail, a script is basically some information that can walk you step by step on how to have a selling conversation. A lot of people, they wing it. And when they wing it, they're able to maybe sell sometimes. But if they would have had a beginning, a middle, and an end that can go ahead and close the sale, they're more inclined to be able to sell more. Scripts are vitally important. You know, it, can, you, can the script... Uh, you, it gives you the capability to reflect. It also it, it has to be fluid. Now, what a screw. What I mean by that is, if you have a script, things change, and you talk to different personalities. Now, sometimes you have to change your script to deal with the different types of personalities. Also, you have to change your scripts periodically because nuances happen. You get new products, you get updates, so you're always having to make sure that your scripts 
or, you know, the best that they can be. You know, like I said, I've been in sales for a long time and I've had it to where when I first started, when I went door to door with these people, they had a basic script, you know, to knock on the door, share some information, ask what they had. And if they didn't have anything, what they would do if they had something, if we could save them money and so forth. And I noticed that when they went door to door, almost every one of their presentations was almost the same. Now, they may have added some personality into it. They may have added their different, you know, things that they added. But I used to carry a portfolio just like this, and I would break down what the product offered, and I'd give them a visual. That's what I would do when I was out there. Because you can tell people all kinds of stuff, but you got to paint pictures. you got to make things be able to work for them. you got to be able to set it in motion. And if you're a salesperson... <clears throat> And you're able to create visual pictures for the customer where they can see themselves owning something. They're more inclined to be able to purchase from you. But if you can use visual aids when you're out there as a part of your script, it really makes a difference. Some people, like I said, you know, they, they'll listen to you. But see, a lot of people are very visual, especially men. And women love color. They love brightness. They love details. And if you have a script that where you can show to customers the products themselves, how they can be used, what they're going to be used for, how it's going to save them money, what it's going to do for them as far as a benefit. You can sell more merchandise. And as a part of your script, you definitely want to use visuals if you if you possibly can. Now, I've worked over the phone many, many times, and I've had to talk to customers. And one of the things that I'm able to do is I'm able to bridge from asking them questions and then putting them then in a circumstance where they can visually see what they may invest. So you're you're talking to a customer. Yes, you know, some people, they need insurance. And if you know, ma'am, that sometimes people die. I don't know. Do you know anybody in your family who have passed away or one of your friends? What they're doing is they're visually seeing what's going on. Now, that's a part of my presentation. And I do this with all different types of products because if you can help the customer see and feel themselves in a situation using your product, you're going to sell more. And our topic for today is how to be, you know, how, how to be selling script prepared. Being selling script prepared means that you're not just going to get it the first day and then you that's it. What you're going to do is you're going to have to practice your script. What that means is in downtime, you want to get your script. You want to look at it. You want to talk about it. You want to say, you know, wow, this is this, this is this. And then with a friend or a coworker or a family member, practice your presentation. A practice presentation comes across as much more, more fluid. It also comes across as being more professional. Now, at first, when you first get into sales, I don't care even if you've been in for a while. We stumble, we fall. If you watch some of my videos, they ain't perfect. I don't want my videos to be perfect. I want them to have flaws. I want you to see that what I do is for real because I'm a real salesperson because my name is Gary Lee Stanley and I am your sales guy. I've been in sales in some form of capacity since the 80s. So I can give you some input of the things that I've seen, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And being prepared and having a script means that you're going to be able to answer questions more easily. You're going to be able to understand your product. You're going to be able to come, uh, you know, give information about the features and the benefits of your product. Plus, it makes it easier for you because, see, people, their time is very valuable. Valuable. So if you're all over the place and you're trying to sell a product, you may lose the customer because they get this glossy look over their, their eyes like, man, I wish this person would really leave me alone. Or they may be over the phone like they feel like they're wasting their time. But if you have a script, you can get right directly to the point and what's important for the customer. Plus, it's important for you to be able to relay the information that's vitally important 
for the customer and for you so that way you can help them buy something and then you can also help you sell something you know scripts are very very important you know i've had some people that i've worked with in my life especially when i worked in call centers and stuff like that i watched these sales people and these other people not write much down i was the opposite i made my own scripts because i had been out in sales before and what happened was is i became very successful over the phone and people started emulating me they started seeing what i was doing what is that you're doing because i would have it right there on the on the wall right before me and i would go step by step by step it's the same thing when i'm out in the field when i'm knocking on doors i'll knock on the door i'll say hello to the customer and then i'll say i why i'm there and then i'll give them some features and benefits ask them some simple questions and then hopefully if i keep doing that because it's a numbers game i'll be able to sell not everybody you talk to over the phone you're going to be able to sell but see here's the thing or in person you have to keep trying and when you're doing your sales scripts you make them simple guys don't make them so complicated and boring make them be excited now the companies that you work for they probably already have some really good scripts for you now you may say well i work in retail people come into my store that's even better that gives you the time when people aren't there that you're studying the craft of selling you're you're learning your product knowledge. You're learning how to have, you're able to prepare yourself. And I'm not, not saying you stand there with the customer, yes, yes, yes. But I have in my own past done, I had a little checklist. It's like a script. Ask them some simple questions and see what happens after a while. You may not have to look at that pad of paper. You will be able to remember and reflect because remember I said it's a numbers game. The more people that you talk to, the more opportunity you get to be able to use your scripts, 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 scripts. And if somebody tells you scripts aren't important, they really don't know. Now, you may be one of these type of persons who doesn't need a script, but the majority of people that I've ever worked for, they need some kind of direction. They need to have a beginning, a middle, and an end with their clothes. So, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your real estate and your sales guy. I do a lot of selling and I talk to a lot of people and I need to be prepared. Now, when I first started in sales, you know, I, I, I needed it even more, but I still keep, remember what I told? you i keep my scripts with me and if i get off uh, off task because i talk to a, a lot of different personalities and i talk to a lot of different people who've got issues which are like tissues they give us excuses they pop up all the time so you have to have something that can help you overcome those objections and i write down those objections just like i did here i write down the things that are important that customers may throw up at me and maybe i wasn't able to overcome but if you don't have a script, you can't even have a conversation. You can ask like, would you like to go ahead and, you know, we got this and blah, 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 blah. And here's another thing. If you are a salesperson, if you're prepared with a script, another thing which is very important is you can cross sell. What does that mean? Yes, you sold them on one product, but there may be op you know, opportunities for you to sell them other products to go along with the purchase that they have, especially if you are working over the phone, especially if you are talking to a customer who's interested in investing or buying from you. By cross-selling, it gives you the capability to build your customer uh, uh, loyalty, but it also builds your, your company. It makes you look really, really good when if you can sell one product, that's awesome. But if you can introduce two or three and be able to close those sales, it is wonderful. But you have to practice that stuff. You have to have how to be selling script prepared. You have to prepare yourself. You have to practice, 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 practice. You know, I'm always listening to audio all the time and i'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up on my videos and subscribe share these videos i've got literally over 600 different types of sales videos on everything there is to know about selling but one of the key components that i need to let you know is if you are a true salesperson take this seriously seriously guys get a script Talk to your management. Ask them what they have. And if they have a script and it seems to be mediocre or okay, work on your script. There are different scripts that are available. You can go online. You can go on different uh, YouTube and things like this where you can get scripts that are already prepared. But the key to success in this regard is you have to make it your own. 
If you make a, 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 a script your own, you own that. You're able to command the customer's attention. They need somebody like you and me who are prepared, who are willing to help them buy something. And remember, guys, it's a numbers game, so your scripts may be great and perfect, but you're not going to unfortunately sell everybody. But that don't mean you don't give it your best every single time. Like I said, I put my scripts up, and, and a lot of times when I'm calling customers, I read directly from a script, and then I ask for the order. See, if you don't ask for the order, you can read scripts all you want. You can have all that, but it's not going to work. You got to learn the basics, the fundamentals about all your products. You got to learn how to read a script. You got to learn how to have a conversation. And I promise you, because my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy, you'll close and you'll get a lot more sales if you are script, sales script prepared. So go out there and sell something and make sure you get you a good script. A script, okay? All right.